Radio, and welcome to another episode of Build and Battle, our Manor Lords Let's Play, where we will build a beautiful medieval city while battling off bandits, brigands, and no good doers. In the last episode, we got absolutely wrecked by some pesky raiders. So in this episode, we are on the defensive, and we'll be focusing on building up our production lines and producing an army. So without further delay, let's actually jump right on in to today's episode. So right away, I want to first come in and get some trade going for our people. This can take time to start importing the goods, and that is why I want to start with this. This plan is to import iron, clay, and some stone so that we have a constant import of these items, and then use our own production chains to produce sword shields and other weapon, uh, weapon items. So let's come on in to our trading post and let's get this set up. So we already have the trade line unlocked for stone. So I'm gonna start importing it and I wanna cap it at 150. And then let's come on into our crafting materials. Let's open up the iron ore. And let's do the same thing where we import and cap at 50, 150, sorry. And we'll do the same thing for the clay. That way we can kind of get that going and get it started uh, so that we can start producing some weapons. Next, we're going to want to start setting up some shops to actually start producing the weapons once the raw materials have come in. And we can actually do that with the Burgage Plot upgrades. So I want to come in and I want to upgrade five Burgage Plots so that we can have a Blacksmith, an Armorer, Fletcher, and then two Joiners so that each Joiner can produce a small or large shield um, respectively. So let's start with the ones closest to our market and closest to our trade. I think this one will be our blacksmith. Actually, let's let this one be the Fletcher. I think I want to keep them all in this area. So let's now come in. If we have a Fletcher... aren't high enough. Joiner number one. Joiner number two. And then what I'll do is in the background, this one will become our armorer. I just gotta wait for this to finish upgrading into Burgage Plot level two. So we will let everything there upgrade and this will become the armorer shop momentarily. Okay, I'm gonna absolutely love it as the city upgrades. The view here from the manor house to the city is just, it, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Anywho. I'm coming up here because I want to construct our first garrison tower. We didn't do this in the last episode because we we're in a bit of a precarious position with uh, raiders at our, our borders. So now that we have a moment and some supplies and less dead bodies, I want to come in and I want to get a garrison tower. And I want to construct it right next to the manor house itself, but I want to do it in a way that does not block what could become a potential view of our uh, of our city. And I'm a little tempted to do two of them. But we're at a limit. So let's commit and let's let that start building up. Alrighty, so to raise a massive army, we need to have a massive population. So I actually want to come in right here and do a big expansion of our Burgage plots by adding a whole row or two to this area right here. So let's come on in and let's start kind of mapping out where we might want some of these Burgage plots to be. I think I'd like to go from here...
Awesome. So let's get these burgage plots in right here. We'll have a little bit of expansion room for um, some upgrades. And then I do want to just come in and get a road. Just to kind of connect everything along here. Awesome. So that should give us uh, 15 extra living space. Okay, and while those burgage plots are being built, I also want to give our people some more happiness and comfort in hopes of increasing our approval rating. And I think we're going to do this by upgrading the church. Not only will this increase our approval rating, but it will also allow us to get a little closer to our next settlement milestone and some future city upgrades. So I think we're just, we have everything we need, so we will just come right on in and click upgrade. And I do want this to be the highest because it takes quite a while to build. Okay, so while we were upgrading our church, we have some brigands coming on in. So I've already rallied our people, or at least what we have of our people. And let's see how we do. bother me a little bit that I just lost where they were on the map. There we go, right here. All right, so our spearmen definitely went down. Let's see if the archers can pick them off, although I don't really want the archers being so close. beat us again uh i'm gonna let everything rebuild real quick here um <laughs> and uh we will we will be back after a short break <laughs> all righty everyone so <laughs> let's talk about the uh the elephant in the room aka the baron right now while we were off camera, um, he came in and laid claims to our land. So I'll admit that off camera, I was attempting to see if I could somehow pull off defeating him. And uh, I absolutely couldn't. So you're going to notice we have the army back here. You just saw this get defeated. Part of the reason this is back is because in a last ditch attempt to see if I'd be able to pull off defeating the Baron, I let the bandits destroy us and kept the army in an attempt to defeat the Baron. So at this point, I am going to see what happens. Let's see if we can beat the Baron. I highly doubt that we can. And yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I have a feeling this may be the end of season one. But don't fret if it is, so stick around and let's see what happens.
All right, we have arch archers throwing some volleys. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so good to get our best. Alright, so it seems like for now, everyone's just kind of throwing some pop shots. So let's try moving our footmen forward a little bit. And we'll keep the archers right near them for backup. Just see if we can press them back out of the territory just a little bit. And the battle's on. I do believe we lost. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what I learned during this blind play as the Baron destroys our village. First, build the manor house early. This shouldn't have been such an elusive concept for me given that the game is called Manor Lords, but I definitely dragged my feet in building our manor house, which put us back significantly in raising taxes, gaining influence, and utilizing mercenaries. We also should have raised our, 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 excuse me, raised our army as soon as we could have. I thought we might be able to hold off a bit and casually build up a city and oh boy, was I wrong. The army, army should have been built passively in the background while we were building the city. Adding units didn't stop the city from growing um, unless the units were rallied. So we really didn't need to procrastinate doing that. This also leads me into another concept of upgrading our production lines quickly. I think adopting a food fast strategy and then upgrading the burgage plots to build our armor, armorer, joiners, and fletchers probably should have happened way back in episode three, not episode five. So this also comes down to one last piece and that was how I was recording and editing these episodes. Letting the game run while we time-lapsed a single build and growing was not the smartest move on my part, so going forward, we will still have time-lapses. However, I will be edit- uh, excuse me, I will be implementing a little bit of editing magic so that the game doesn't pass a whole year while, while we wait for just a single church to be built. Alright, so with everything said, let's have a moment of silence and uh, just enjoy walking around as our, uh, our city burns to the ground. Alrighty, everyone. So, the Baron may have defeated us this season, but stick around for Season 2 where we will take our revenge with new Inamaruth. And if you enjoyed watching me get humbled by an NPC, please hit that like button. And if you're looking forward to Season 2, don't forget to subscribe. Also, let me know down in the comments below what strategies have worked best for you guys so far. Until next time, I hope everyone has a phenomenal week.